Long ago in ancient Greece lived the bush who began it all. Hercubush, half god, half mortal, half Texan. Hercubush roamed the seven seas with one mission, to destroy evil. I stand for peace, and anyone who stands in my way will be destroyed. Hercubush, man without fear. Hercubush, stronger than steer. Making war on war, knocking evil to the floor. Never quite elected. The Office of Homeland Security and Associated with the Petroleum Council of America presents The Adventures of Hergibush. Hercubush and his army train for another campaign against the forces of evil. But hark, there is muttering among the ranks. We need more oil for our manly torsos. How can we conquer evil without glistening oil bodies? Look, even Hercubush does not glisten with the body oil as he should. Concerned about the oil shortage, Hercubush visits the Oracle of Chady. What ails our nation, Hercubush? A lack of oil with which to slather on our manly torsos. What can I do, O Cheney? Ah, there's always the Arctic refuge. Empty. I rubbed on the last gallon this morning. Well, the land known as Raghedia has much oil. Raghedia? Sounds pretty evil to me. Oh, yeah. Real evil. <laughs> <laughs> And so, with the news of a land that's full of evil, and as luck would have it, oil, Hercubush and his men train with renewed vigor. Hey, Mr. President, George Stephanopoulos from the Athenian Broadcast Network. Is it true you're planning to invade Raghedia? We can only end the cycle of violence by crushing it completely and taking their oil. Sounds good to me. They're like Hitler, only more so. We will rub their oil on our torso. And so, Hercubush and his brave soldiers embark for Raghedia. But within the army of good, an evil worm spread its venom. Man, this war is bogus. We should be spending tax dollars on education instead of destroying some poor-ass country for their oil. When Hercubush heard of the traitor's words, he was filled with rage. I'm enraged. In the interests of peace, I may have to destroy you. But why get us killed invading Raghedia? Why don't we attack Hatefulberg or Evilania? Evil, oh. yeah. Ah, yeah. Very evil. Evilania? What's that? You know, the country where they push women and children off walls? Ah, ah, ah. Do they have any oil? Uh -uh. If we have time, we'll get them on the way back, maybe. And so Hercules went on to conquer the evil Raghedians, as well as an evil lion, and some guy who just happened to wander by at the wrong time. He must have been evil, too. Anyway, Hercubush and his victorious men took their badly needed oil back home. And I'll oil my torso till it's nice and bright. Then I'm gonna drive my hopper all night. Unfortunately, there wasn't really any time to stop by Evilania. Yes, we had to bomb cities and kill thousands of innocent people. But in the end, it was all worth it. Ah, oil. Next week, Hercubush visits the Capitol to negotiate with Congress. Take that, Democratians. Should have done this a long time ago. Woo!